Hello everyone, I know I haven't been making videos at all really this year but it's that time of year again for me to count down my picks for the best films of the year. Now I don't really have many honourable mentions, there are films that have dropped out of my list that were on it earlier in the year, films such as The Kid Who Would Be King, Yesterday and Midsommar. I loved Midsommar when I first watched it, it was my favourite film of the year when I first watched it, but I rewatched it and I really liked it but it didn't have the same effect as me, hence why it's not on this list. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to get straight into the list. At number 10 is my surprise film of the year, and that is Hustlers. I thought this film looked awful. I mean, the trailers were terrible, but I went in with an open mind and I loved it. The cast, especially Constance Wu and Jennifer Lopez, were fantastic. Their performances are honestly some of the best of the year. They did a fantastic job. However, for me, the real star of the show is Loreen Scafaria, the writer and director, who just brought so much energy and passion to it. And that energy and passion really shows through because this film is just fantastic and I loved it. At number nine is a film that people may consider to be a 2018 film because it came out in a lot of places in 2018. But when I do these lists, these are films that came out in the UK in that year. So, yeah, my number nine is Green Book. This had some controversy surrounding it when it won Best Picture, but I thought it was deserving of that. I loved this film. Viggo Mortensen and Mahershala Ali are fantastic here. They made their characters feel really real, and I believed in the characters. I thought the film was funny. It was heartwarming. I just had a fantastic time watching it, and it really did deserve all the awards it got. And number eight is another film that really surprised me this year, and that is Aladdin. Uh, it's the only Disney remake this year that I actually liked. I didn't like the trailers to this, but I had so much fun watching this. Will Smith as Genie was perfect casting. Mina Masoud and Naomi Scott, they both have different takes on their characters. However, those different takes are a plus to the movie, um, because it... It separates the film from the original without making it not feel like Aladdin. It feels like Aladdin, but it feels like a new version of it. It feels a new it feels like it was made for modern day, and that's what I loved about it. At number seven is a film that was on my most anticipated film of the year list. It didn't do very well at the box office, but I had so much fun with it, fighting with my family. If there was one word to describe this film, it would be inspirational. This film will just make you want to get up and follow your dreams. I know that sounds really cheesy, but the film really does make you want to do that. It's really funny. It's really heartwarming. It's just so enjoyable. And what I loved about it is that you don't need to be a fan of wrestling to enjoy it. I know nothing about wrestling. But I had so much fun watching Fighting With My Family. At number six is a film I really wish more people saw. When I've been watching other people's best of the year lists, I'm surprised this film hasn't been on a lot of them. And that film is Rocket Man. This is my most rewatched film of the year. Taron Egerton is incredible. I mean, I when I saw it back in May, I was just like, this kid needs some Oscar buzz. And we're in December now, I'm just like, yeah, he, he still deserves a nomination because he is fantastic however uh, uh dexter fletcher did such a fantastic job directing this because this film is a musical fantasy biopic there there were a lot of genres uh dexter fletcher had to uh juggle but he pulled it off perfectly and i had such a good time watching rocket man and number five this film was my most anticipated film of the entire year i was scared it was going to let me down but Quentin Tarantino, you didn't let me down. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. Perfect match for each other. They are awesome here. Um, I think Leo is going to get a Best Actor nomination and he deserves it. Uh, what What is so apparent throughout Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is that Tarantino loves old Hollywood and filmmaking in general. This is a love letter to Hollywood. Um, that's probably why it's going to get nominated for those Oscars because Hollywood loves movies about Hollywood. Um, so, yeah, I love this film. Uh, I've seen it twice now and it's fantastic. And the final 15 minutes are just insane. Uh, in a weird way, they get me really pumped up. Um, but I just loved Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. 
Uh, number four is the most heartbreaking film of the year. I saw this over three weeks ago and I still have not got over it. Marriage Story. This film will shatter you. Adam Driver is my pick to win Best Actor uh, this year. And Scarlett Johansson is my pick to win Best Actress this year. Both of them are just mesmerising. And there is one scene. It's the scene. The argument scene. I keep replaying it over and over in my head. And it is just some of the most heartbreaking stuff ever in a film. Um... What I love about what Noah Baumbach did with this is that his direction isn't showy or pretentious. But because his direction isn't showy or pretentious, the film feels more effective. Um, Marriage Story is one of the best films of the year. I loved it. and It's a hard watch. I, I'm not going to be re-watching this a lot, but it's a fantastic film. At number three, he's done it again. The Master, he's done it. Uh, the Irishman, directed by Martin Scorsese, starring Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, and Al Pacino. I I get that this film is long, like it is. I'm not going to be rewatching this, but really, when are we? I don't think we're ever going to see a film ever again that stars uh, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesci, directed by Martin Scorsese. So I cherished every second of this film. Performances were great. Obviously, direction is great. Uh, screenplay is enthralling. Everything about The Irishman, I just loved. At number two, this is the most fun I've had watching a movie all year. Knives Out, written and directed by Ryan Johnson. Um, you guys know I hate The Last Jedi. Um, but Knives Out it is so much fun. Daniel Craig is awesome. I really want a Knives Out franchise where... We have this Benoit Blanc character uh, solving other mysteries. Um, Knives Out was just hilarious. Uh, I cared about the characters. There, there are a lot of characters here. Um, but Ryan Johnson um, had a purpose for all of them. Ryan Johnson subverts your expectations at every chance he gets. Um, but all the twists and turns just made the film even more fun. The entire cast is great. I had a blast with Knives Out. So here we are at number one, my favourite film of the year. It's Cats. I mean, obviously, what else were you expecting me to say? In all honesty, my favourite film of the year, this is the only film I gave an A plus to this year, and it is Joker. Um, Joaquin Phoenix is mesmerising as Arthur Fleck. Um, it is... He he really does have to carry a lot of this film. I mean, the writing is fantastic. The direction from Todd Phillips is grounded, and the way he builds Gotham is unlike any iteration of Gotham we've seen before. But Walking Phoenix is just... I just couldn't take my eyes off the screen, because his performance... This is a performance for the ages. Uh, this is going to be shown in film classes um, and acting classes um, for a reason... Joker is the only film this year I can call a masterpiece. The reason why Joker is the only film I gave an A plus to this year is because no other film this year had an effect on me like Joker. Sure, Rocket Man was the film I watched most this year. Um, Marriage Story broke my heart in pieces. But Joker, I have not been enthralled by one character more this year. And I absolutely adored it. So guys, that's my best films of the year list. I will link my 2019 ranked list on Letterboxd in the comments below um, so you guys can see all the films I saw this year. Guys, thank you for watching my very few videos this year. I really do hope to try and do more videos next year, but thank you for watching this video. You guys are awesome. Blu-ray Billy, logging off.